Hello and welcome to Jamie's Motion Graphics. This is a tutorial on how to make a quick star field. You need to work on it a bit more than I will show you, but yeah, it's just the explanation on how to make it and how you make it realistic. Yeah, that's up to you. Anyway, let's dive right into it. Okay, here we are in After Effects. We're going to just start off with a new composition. And um, yeah, it's going to be just called Comp 1. It doesn't really matter. So um, we can make this into a stationary effect or a not so stationary effect. So actually a dynamic effect. We're going to start off with a solid. It's obviously going to be black for now. Because, um, well, it's it seems more logical. Then we're going to take our ball action here and we're going to just plot that on there um, actually yeah we can also make it white that would actually make a lot more sense because well these are going to be the stars I was first considering making this the background but obviously that's not very necessary okay we're going to set the the size here to uh, uh, well let's first set it to 50 and then well, we can set the, uh, the, the sh scatter to a high number and there you already have your star field. So it's as easy as that. The thing is, you might not want to have all these, um, these close ones in here. So just make a camera and just go and look what you have. So hit C. Uh, well, this is actually a 3D layer. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, so this is actually a 3D effect, but it's a 2D layer, so it becomes kind of a problem if you do it like this. Um, yeah, you can uh, of course just zoom out with your camera and just say, well, I, uh, I find this acceptable as well, and you can even up the number or the, the size of these things. Well, not that size. The size should basically be 50 or less, but yeah, if you make this into 20, then the stars will become a little bit bigger and of course you can um, you can scale this up by quite a bit just making this into more of a background issue hang on there you go now it's in the background and now it's a nice star field so if you're still not satisfied with the way it looks just um, go to for example um, oh, new and an adjustment layer. I'm keeping the camera above it, but it, I don't think it actually matters. And we're going to just uh, do blur. So probably fast blur, something like that. There you go, fast blur on here. And just make that a few pixels. And then you will have a little bit of a, well, a blur. And then if you duplicate the white solid, so the star field actually, you uh, change the scatter a bit and you change the numbers a bit so currently we have 50 and 20 so if we make this 15 and the star field will look totally different and we actually want to take that out of here so and now you have kind of a a way of making a difference between the front star system and the back star system I actually just going to put the fast blur on this guy because why not? And then duplicate it, make an extra uh, layer, make the balls like extra big, I don't know, something like that. And make the fast blur even more or less. So it's just what you want. But normally more is, uh, is better in this case. So these are going to be very far away and very vague. And these ones are the ones that um, we can hardly see, but they're still there. So they need to be a little bit more, maybe 10 pixels. And there, now that's a little bit too much. Six. Yep. I did something. I don't know what. Uh, I don't know what I just hit, um, but yeah, apparently I hit something and now we have this bar here. Okay, that fixed it. Okay, um, the uh, front one, that's the one with all the the heart pixels on it, or the heart stars I should say. 
that's the one we want to see. The others can kind of fade out a little bit. So especially the second one is too bright. So just um, use the transparency to take that down a little bit and just take it down until it's very soft, the third one as well. So it's just to, to have that. And there you have a kind of realistic star field. You can of course then use the adjustment layer that I just drew out to make that into more of a, well, just to appear further away. So you can put another fast blur on that and put like, I don't know, three pixels on it so that it doesn't look as hard. And then, yeah, you can fly a spaceship through that or something like that. So just play around with the values, but it's a very easy way to do that. So just adjust the ball size, uh, because if you make 50 into 40, you get a completely different effect. What you want is just randomness and um, different layers behind each other. And it should all be good, right? Anyway, hope you learned something, and I will see you next time.